Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will convert decimals to fractions. Last time, we talked about how to convert fractions to decimals. And you can see it here, as well as the link in our description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So as you can see, we are asked here to convert the following decimals to fractions. We have six decimals, and our target here is to convert this into its fractional form. Let's start with number 1. We are given 0 0.3. So how are we going to convert this into decimal? So I will give you the easiest or the fastest way on how to convert this. First, get this number. It will serve as your numerator. So you have 3. And for your denominator, since this one is a fraction, always put 1 in your denominator. And then after this, you will add zeros here. Now, for the zeros, you will count the number of decimal places after this point going to the right. So as you can see, in 0 0.3, from this decimal point, we only have one decimal place, which is this one. So we will add a single zero. And as you can see, your 0 0.3 is equal to 3 over 10 as your fraction. By the way, guys, you need to be mindful of simplifying this fraction because some of the teachers are requiring to simplify or to express the fraction in lowest terms. So this is the answer. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given 0 0.3. Get this number as your numerator over, for your denominator, put a 1 here. And then for the number of zeros, you will count the number of decimal places from left to right. From this point, we have 1 and 2. Again, 1 and 2. Meaning, we will add 2 zeros here in your denominator. As you can see, we already have 3 over 100 in which this one is already in simplest form. So this is the answer. Now let's continue with item number 3. In number 3, we're given 1.25. Here, we have a whole number, 1. So first, before converting the decimal, this whole number must be put here as a whole number. In shortcut, the equivalent of this one is a mixed number. Now let's convert this part. Get this number, 25, as your numerator. So you have 25. For your denominator, put a 1 here. And then what you need to do is to count the decimal places. 1 and 2. So we will put two zeros here. Now, this one is not yet the answer because we can still simplify 25 over 100. So to simplify this, copy this whole number, 1. And then the greatest common factor between 25 and 100 is 25. Meaning, what we need to do is to divide the numerator and the denominator by 25. 25 and 25. Now let's divide. 25 divided by 25 is 1 over 100 divided by 25 is 4. And as you can see, the converted form of 1.25 is 1 and 1 over 4. Now let's continue with number 4. We have 3.6. So since we have here a whole number, we will put it as a whole number. Then, for your decimal, copy this number in your, in your numerator, this is 6, over, put a 1 here, and then for your denominator, count the number of decimal place, this is 1, so we will put 1, 0 here. Now, we can still simplify 6 over 25, uh, 6 over 10, rather. The greatest common factor of 6 and 10 is 2, meaning we need to divide the numerator 
and the denominator by 2. So what will happen here? Copy your whole number which is 3. 6 divided by 2 is 3 over 10 divided by 2 which is equal to 5 and as you can see your 3.6 is 3 and 3 over 5 in decimal form in fractional form rather now let's continue with item number 5 for number 5 we are given 0 0.005 so what you need to do get this number 5 you have your 5 here over Put a 1 here and then count the decimal places we have here. We have 1, 2, and 3, meaning we will add 1, 2, and 3 zeros. This one is not yet simplified. What you need to do is to divide this by 5. Divided by 5, divided by 5. So to simplify this, 5 divided by 5 is 1 over 1,000 divided by 5 is 200. For number 5, this is the answer, guys. Now, it's your turn. As part of our routine, it's your turn to answer the last part of these questions. Now, I will ask you to convert 7.5 into its fractional form and please comment down below what is your answer in this problem so that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the notification bell button for you to be updated on the latest uploads again it's me teacher gone maraming maraming salamat bye bye